Salam sejahtera and very good morning So with me 9 Whiskey 2 Delta India Today I want to show you uh, What I found uh, The IC705 software The remote software <coughs> Can be connected to the uh, Zygu X6100 <laughs> So okay uh, So let me show you uh, How I connect the software of the IC705 or the or the ICOM uh, remote uh, software to my uh, uh, Zygu X6100 so here is the software of the ICOM software so I bought it uh, for the my iPad and uh, and I try uh, this uh, software so it can connect to the X6100 uh, so okay uh the the type uh, the connection it will be use the wi-fi because of this uh, software the remote software can only uh, use with the soft uh, with the wi-fi for the 705 so we use uh, this uh, uh, software to connect for the ic705 so see that all uh, right so then uh how to connect to the my uh, Zygo X6100 So you need to turn on the WF server here Okay For the Zygo X6100 So you need to turn it on And then for the configuration You use the default configuration of the WF server Okay So before this I'm using the WF view So it's fine to me to work with this uh, uh, Zygo X6100 But then I try to I uh, use the ICOM uh, software So it's it's okay uh, Let me show you uh, How the ac accurate of this uh, software to my radio So Actually it's not a very uh, fast To this uh, software to connect to the X6100 It's not so fast but you need to the try uh, one to three times then it will be okay okay uh, the port is same and the username and all that is same as the configuration with the wf server on this x6100 so you see you can see the waterfall and all that but uh, but the what a what is the problem is you see the scope here the scope for the 40 meter the scope for the the amateur band is not too wide and but the, on this uh, waterfall, you see uh, the scope is so wide, but on the tuning, on the tuning is not too wide. But never mind. Uh, to use this uh, to make you uh, work with this, uh, not uh, to be difficult on the tuning, uh, because when you when you drag this, you see uh, when you drag this is uh, it's not easy to you to uh, tuning the frequency. But I use this view and then use this uh, tuning panel, okay? And then you can choose the step of the tuning. Uh, maybe I want to use the 500 uh, uh, kilohertz. So then you tune it here. Okay? Uh, see? You can tune in here. So it's very smooth. Uh, and now you can see it's very smooth on the tuning. Okay? So then you want to tune to this uh, frequency, so you drag it like that, okay, and then, then there you go, okay. Uh, so this uh, how you want to tune this on the uh, software for the remote software. So now I'm using the uh, external sound with this radio, <coughs> okay. So let me show you uh, what is on this uh, software. Uh, so what you can see is you got the the FT8 and all that. And we got the tools. Okay, you can uh, go for the DX cluster and the uh, call lookup on the qrz.com and all that. So I'm not going to deep on this uh, software. I just want to show you today how my how this software can integrate it with the X6100. So let's say I want to change to the another band for the 20 meter band. So there is change on my radio. Okay, let's say I want to change to the 10 meter band. 
So okay, let's see. Ah, uh, there is change on the radio also. So it's quit so fast. Okay, <coughs> even uh, you connect this uh, software uh, using on the uh, your Wi-Fi only. Okay, to mention to you, I'm uh, use this uh, uh, SS point near me. So because if it uh, uh, far from this uh, equipment, so the the all on this uh, synchronized, I want to change all that is going to lag. So I put it here uh, near me on uh, this is SS point. So one thing I want just uh, want to say to you, uh, this access point, uh, if you want to be uh, a better or smooth uh, running on the software for this X6100, so uh, this uh, router or the access point is only, only you connect with your software and with your radio only. Okay, <laughs> this is better. So now let's say I want to tune in and it's okay. Okay, so okay. Then uh, you go to the, let me show you with my, the FTA. So we're going to, going to arrive on the FTA. So here, we're still on the FTA. Okay. Uh, but I need to, to change to my, uh, this radio to the uh, audio. Now I'm using the radio audio, but um, maybe later I just want to, uh, if you want to use this FTA, you you must use the internal audio of this iPad. It's okay. That is for that is for today. Uh, I just want to share with you how how I uh, connect this uh, IC705 uh, software on the iPad to my Radio X6100. So okay, it's easy. But uh, if you want to make a little more, a uh, little bit or more speed on the accuracy on the tuning and all that, uh, you must uh, have the access point near you, and it will be okay. Okay, that's all for me. So thanks for watching. Uh, Seventy uh, from me, from Nine Whiskey to Delta India. Okay, bye.